So today's recipe is going to be called Dutch oven tomato beef. It's a really awesome tomatoey cube beef and a wonderful sauce, just tender as can be in that Dutch oven cooking. Yay! <laughs> Come join us on this wonderful cooking, okay? I'm going right, to make this jello for my family. I'm going to give it a try. I like it. I like the color. So, and I want to say that you can uh, make jello in, in a bowl like this with little flowers. It's all nice and white. There's no problem with that. It's good. And you could also make a jello with this one. It's all clear and stuff, and put your jello in there. It's going to be all nice and great blue like that, or purple. And that's a good idea. But what I want to talk to you about is. Try to find something like this, something that's colorful. Maybe this one, this bowl reminds me of my grandmother, and I like, it. and 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 I want to see that picture at the bottom of my Jello. So when I make the Jello, and being that purple and all, it's kind of matching. So I want to make this, and I want to make it presentable because I've always said in other videos that people like to eat pretty food. And I like to make pretty food for my family. So if you find something like this, make jello in it. So it's a good idea. I just wanted to share that. So we'll go ahead and make jello in this bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and make the jello in this bowl. And then we'll put it in here in this pretty one. Okay, so go ahead and make the jello. Just pour your little jello in here, just like this. And you can add fruit or whatever you want to. I like to make mine plain because um, it, I, it just looks pretty, right? You can see the picture on the bottom of that picture, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my super hot boiling water in this jello. I'm gonna stir it till it's dissolved, okay? It's looking really pretty already. <laughs> I like it. Okay, once that, uh, Jello dissolves in there. Just go ahead and put in your room temperature water and mix it up really good. Just like this. Okay. Once that's done, you go ahead and pour it in here. Make it really pretty. Okay. And once this settles, all these little bubbles disappear you'll see the picture in there you see it it's really really cool <laughs> so go ahead and put your saran wrap on here your saran wrap put it on there and stick that in the fridge and then go we'll go ahead and start the rest of the meal okay so I put the plastic wrap on there I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge we're going to be using this Dutch oven to cook this meat. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to be putting my uh, temperature at medium high. So we'll be cooking this food slowly. I'm putting in some uh, vegetable oil mixed with some uh, butter in there. So go ahead and do that. Next, you're going to put this meat in there in the pan and start cooking it, making it brown. Okay, so we're gonna be using these ingredients. There's onions, there's uh, uh, celery, and there's uh, tomatoes. You're also gonna need some tomato paste uh, with some water. If you don't have tomato paste and you have tomato sauce, you can use that instead. We're also gonna be mixing some seasoning in here. We'll have garlic, we'll have cumin, black pepper, and some green chili. We'll put those together to make a paste. Okay, this is all according to how you like it, okay? I like a lot of garlic in mine, so I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put some, probably about two scoops of this green chili in here. I like a little bit of spice in my food, so I'll just put two in there. I like to put some peppercorn in there. Now let's see if I can just take it out. If 
about like that. In there. Okay, and then a little bit of cumin. This is cumin. Okay, so you're gonna put a little bit of it in there too. Not much, we just want it for flavor. Like that. Okay, so go ahead and start grinding it in your little um, grinder here and just start smashing it. But just go ahead and work that in. Okay, so after you get get it kind of like smashed in there like this to, to tiny pieces, then go ahead and add a little bit of water so you can make a little bit of paste. For me, we'll release this juice and it'll be a little bit wet. There's a lot of moisture still in there. Just continue cooking it and soon all this liquid will go away, okay? So go ahead and continue cooking. Okay, soon the meat will turn brown. Maybe some brown pieces on here. Like this one caramelized really nicely. When it gets to this uh, point, go ahead and put your onions in. Go ahead and put your onions in there. And then go ahead and cook it a little longer. Okay? So go ahead and do that. And cook it until the Meanwhile, go ahead and open this up and add some water to it and make it like a, a sauce. You also need some of this tomato chicken bouillon. Just take as much as you want. It doesn't have to be that much. Just, just a little bit. Add that in there. And go ahead and put your water in there like this and go ahead and make a mix this up and make like a sauce so go ahead and do that now the meat is ready for the rest of the ingredients which is the celery and the tomatoes put your tomatoes in there and put your celery in there and these are optional you don't have to have so go ahead and stir that up. Just go ahead and stir it up and put it together real nice and delicious. Just let it cook for a little bit and then we'll add some tomato sauce to it. Okay, so now it's ready for the tomato sauce that you made. Go ahead and pour that in, all of it. Go ahead and mix it in very well, just like this. And then you're going to add some water, just enough to cover the meat. Okay. So go ahead and add your water until you can cover the meat. Okay. So not too much water, just enough to, so that it's above the meat. You push it down and you can tell that the meat's underneath the water. So go ahead and do that and cook your meat for about, oh, about 40 minutes on low heat. Go ahead and let it cook and go ahead and put the lid on there. Okay, it's been a little while, about 20 minutes, and we'll go ahead and check it to see how it's cooking. Oh, it's cooking wonderfully. Okay, just go ahead and put the lid okay, back on it again. And it's looking pretty cooking. good so far. And all the meat is getting nice and okay, tender. So we're going to so go ahead and put this cooking. stuff that we made. We're going to go ahead and add it to the soup now. Go ahead and add that in there and mix it up really good. Go ahead and put the lid back on there and let it cook some Okay, more. so I've cooked it for a while, almost an hour on low heat, and it's gotten pretty tender, so it's pretty much done. So go ahead and turn off your heat source and just let it set there for a while, let it cool down, and then you'll be able to serve it. So I'm done with the food, and I wanted to say that presentation is very important when you're serving food. You want to add some of the fruit or some cheese or something like that. And I got you, I got some potatoes and some salad and the meat that we made. And I added some tea. And remember how I showed you that there was a, a jello that we were going to make? Well, it's finished now. And I wanted you to see how it looks. You can really see the beautiful swans underneath there. You see it? That's beautiful. 
And so here I have your table set with your tea and stuff, and I put a dessert bowl right there. And we're gonna go ahead and take some of this Jello and put it in there. Okay, so you're just gonna take a portion of it, not a whole lot, just a little bit, and put it inside the bowl, just like that. Okay, got some whipped cream. Go ahead and put it on top of that Jello. Okay, so this is the uh, Jello that we just got through making. It looks really nice. And here's your the meat. It's real nice and tender. Your salad. And that is our presentation for today. I appreciate you being with me. And I'd like to do some more cooking later on. Okay, that was fun. Fun, fun, fun. Cooking all that food was really good. And it must be good because Jim over here ate a bunch of it. Oh yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to us, please be helpful. And we can continue to bring these wonderful presentations and I will be happy to be the guinea pig to test out the recipes. Thank you and good day. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Hi, yes, it's me, Miss Nova. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to be making another meal. Yes, and uh, Jim's going to help. Say hi, Jim. That's my husband. Hi, hi Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that was today's meal. Thank you so much for joining us. That was so fun to make all that food. Jim ate a whole bunch of it, so it must be good. Oh, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our recipe is called Dutch Oven Tomato Beef. It's really, really tender. It's really good. <laughs> yes. And Jim looks tired, but he really isn't. 